welcome back to my channel. A few things before we get started, I wanted to say, one, there will be bird noises in the background. Um, I'm at my grandmother's house house sitting and they like to scream, especially when I start talking, they like to talk too. And the other thing is that I am a little bit under the weather because of allergies. Down here in Texas, we've been having a lot of weather changes from cold to warm, so my allergies are just going out of control. So if I sound a little stuffy, that's why. Um, but as you can see, things are a little different this time. You can see my face. Um, I think this is only the second time I've ever done like a video like this where you can see me and I'm talking to you like this. And I prefer this because I feel like, you know, I can interact with my audience a little bit better if you can see the face behind the camera. And I'm going to be trying to do this more often. I just need to get better equipment. Anyway, let's get started. First off, um, I guess I'll tell you what's on my lips. I'm wearing uh, color designs all done up. And there. It's a very, it's a pink shade. Um, it's darker on the lips, as you can see. Sorry if I look pale. I'm just pale. <laughs> and then on my hands, I'll do it this way. On my hands, I'm wearing China Glaze. Are y'all ready for this? It's such a beautiful, like, cherry shimmer polish. It's gorgeous. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the polishes that I have recently hauled. These aren't the ones that I got for Christmas. I'm going to do that in another video. I don't know if that will be uploaded first or this will be uploaded first, but I don't have all my Christmas polishes with me. But I do have all the polishes that I have recently hauled and there's only four five six seven eight i think eight, no one two three four five six seven i can count uh polishes here i was counting the china glaze but this this i've had that's not something that i hauled recently but um i have seven polishes here and three of them i got when i went to lake charles uh last week and they're Julie G polishes. And that's like really cool for me because in Houston, I don't even think in Texas, but definitely not in Houston, we have no Rite Aids and you can only get Julie G's at Rite Aids. So when we went there, I was like, I have to stop. I have to get some Julie G polishes because I'm a nail polish addict and I needed more. I only have one Julie G in my collection and now I have three more and I'm really happy about that. But anyway, let's get started. Um, I'll start with the topper. So I bought the Revlon's Matte Pearl Glaze, and I'm sure all of you know about this polish or topper, I should say. It's gorgeous, and I have been wanting it forever, and I actually got it on sale. It was like three something, um, three something on sale, because usually they're like what five dollars or something like that i can't remember but then along with uh the matte pearl glaze i bought revlon's sultry which is this like beautiful purpley blue like kind of blurple um pearly shimmer polish it's got like purple shimmers running through it it's really pretty um i do have swatches of it but i don't have them with me um, if you would like to see swatches of these polishes, I can do like a live swatch video. I am definitely going to be doing a swatch video of the Julie G's and then some of my Christmas polishes. Otherwise, I think for the rest of these polishes, I am just going to be um, throwing them in with like other videos where I do like live swatching. Kind of like how Phoebe Moon does her um, Saturday swatch best sort of thing but a little bit different and then next this is a lemming I have been wanting this polish for a while this is Essie's loot the booty and I honestly wanted this polish basically just because of the name but it is honestly gorgeous it is this like cobalt blue with blue and purple shimmers and to show it next to uh, Sultry, they are definitely different polishes. This one has a lot of purple in it, and this one is definitely blue and has just some purple shimmers in it. 
but I just absolutely love the name of this polish. It makes me laugh and I cannot wait to wear it on my nails. But I got this at TJ Maxx for $3.99, which is a steal since Essie's are like eight. Um, next we have, a, uh, I got this Essie and then this next OPI um, at TJ Maxx. I got them together. And this one is Alcatraz Rocks. And it is just, I'm a sucker for these kinds of like glitters. Like it's just packed, kind of like almost a textured look. Sorry, it's kind of hard to see this one. I will definitely have to do a swatch, live swatch of some of these. But it is just so dang pretty. Um, it is like purple base with like a bunch of like gold and blue and it's just got lots of little like micro glitters in there and I'm hoping it comes off a little bit textured because I love textured polishes. I just love all polishes just honestly <laughs> but it's because I'm a crazy person. And next we have the Julie G's. Like I said I will definitely be doing a video just for these Julie G's to show you um like a live swatch of them and I might throw in the fourth one that I've had but when I was looking because the Julie G that I do have is called Damsel and it's this like cream pink and when I went to the Rite Aid in Lake Charles they had Damsel but it was like a different color than the one I have and I almost picked it up but I wasn't about to like spend my money on a polish that I already had, but I wish I had because then I could show you the difference between the one I have and like, I guess the new formula. Maybe I can, you know, get that another time. But anyway, we'll start with the yellow gold. This is called More Carrots Please. And this is like this mustardy gold yellow with lots of shimmer in it it's just it's like one of those ugly pretty polishes and I'm all about that and I can't and these I did swatch these on a swatch wheel and they were sheer because they have all those like little flaky shimmers in there and it kind of gives it like a jelly sandwich kind of feel so you will have to do like two probably three coats with these polishes. I know I will have to do three coats because sometimes I can be a little light-handed with my um, nail polish when I'm painting them. But it is just oh, so pretty. Not something I would normally pick up, but I did because I was like, you gotta get out of your comfort zone. And next, I had to get this one because the name. It's hashtag nails of the day. And I was like, that is just so perfect for everybody that does Instagram. They know that hashtag well. And this is like a purpley brown. It looks kind of purpley, but I don't think it is when I swatched it. I think it was just a very pretty brown shimmery polish with gold shimmer in there. It's just, and I love me some good browns. Like I have definitely gotten into neutrals lately which is not me because I love like greens and blues and purples and all that jazz. All oh, my favorites are like Crellies with glitters in them. Just oh, so perfect. And of course I picked up a blue and <laughs> this one is called Brady Bear, which I find a very strange name for this polish since it looks like the ocean. Like literally if you were under the water and looking up it looks like how the sun would be hitting the water it is like a blue green teal like sea kind of color and it's got gold and maybe teal glitters in it it might just be the um the base making it look teal but again gorgeous I might have something similar to this in my collection because I'm a sucker for these kind of I pick these up all the time and I'm like you have so many of these Lucy you need to stop but blues are my weakness and as you can see all of these are kind of in the same like family they all have the same kind of like shimmer and I think that's why I picked them up because they would look like they were all kind of like sisters so I wanted to review those in a later video but that is actually all the polish to show you guys right now. I hope 
that this video wasn't too short. Usually my videos are way too long. Um, if you have any questions for me, please leave comments below. I am really enjoying doing these videos and I am trying to upload more often and get back on my YouTube and my Instagram and just like really going at it hard because nail polish is a big passion of mine and if you want to join me on this journey, please do. Please subscribe. Please go um, sub subscribe to my Instagram. Um, I'll leave all that information down below in the description box. But thank, well, I guess that's it. Thank you guys for watching and um, I will see y'all later.